Hello. Hello, 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 hello. I'm trying to find that video there we go so I can see who's here. Hi Stephen. <laughs> Good morning. How is everybody? Um I've had a move around in my studio, as you can probably tell. Just skip the ads on here. And um yeah, my hair pink and <laughs> we saw it last time. <laughs> it's sort of a orangey pink in there. I've got it tied up so little bunches in there. <laughs> Good morning, Margie. I've got the wrong glasses on, so I'm, I'm just gonna flip the camera over and then um you can see me. Well you can't see me because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put this bright light on as well, so which like can't see. <laughs> anyway, good morning everybody. This is what I've been art. <laughs> right. Watercolour. <laughs> Let me just nudge that out of the way. You don't want to see all that, do you? Put my proper glasses on. Oh, Crash bang again. <laughs> my glasses are dirty. <laughs> I can't see. Hang on a minute. Get up there. Oh, morning, Margie. <laughs> morning, Stephen. <coughs> right. Oh, look, you see. Clean. Cleanness. I've got these watercolours that I found whilst I was um, messing around. Messing around. <laughs> Tidying up. Let's not messing around. Um, but I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to take these ones out. Because I don't like metallic colours or pearly colours. I've got loads of paints that have got metallic and pearly colours in them, and I really don't like them. So I'm going to take them out so it doesn't, so I don't accidentally stick my brush in them. Stick them over there somewhere. Um, these are these. Um, are they Japanese, Chinese? I'm going to stick a like a. A cere oh, that fits quite nicely. That's a Winsor & Newton Cerulean Blue there. Oh, I could stick some more in. And I've given these paints, they come in a box. I've got them off of Amazon. And so they come in a box. They're these. And I don't know. They're, they're, if, you, if you want want some, they do some really nice pastel colours as well. If you want some, search for that. Is it focusing? Yeah, that. that. I don't know how to say it. Crew take. Crew take or something, and they come in a box, a box like this. It's quite, they're quite annoying. You can take the palette, the bits out, but it's just annoying that they um, don't have anywhere to um, mix your colours. <coughs> but you can take the individual pans out. Oh look, you even, you even have a spider carcass in. Oh, that's like really stuck in there. <laughs> Come on, little fella. I don't want to paint with you. Oh, gosh. I don't, that's going to have to stay there. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I don't, I'm going to scream. I'm going, I can't do it now. I can't um, paint with a spider carcass. Oh, his legs have come off. I'm just going to have to scrape it. Ooh, sorry, spider. I hope you had a good life before you got stuck in my watercolour paints. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> what I was going to say about these paints, they're very sticky <laughs> and they really suck in the water. <laughs> hi Kim, hi Margie, <laughs> hi Suma, hi Felicia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, now I've got rid of the spider. <laughs> Yeah, they're really thirsty paints. You put, when you put water on them, they're like, <laughs> like, um, yeah, thirsty. What's it? absorbent? Is another word one can use. Um, yeah. So um, they're really, they're really thirsty. So I'm gonna paint white flowers this morning, and I did put one up on my Michelle Clark Instagram. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I've got it here, but you can't see it, or you could see it if I um did a quick snuffle through um hang on 
let me see if I can show you. I'll show you what I'm going to paint. I've lost my um. God, I've got so many windows open. It's unbelievable. It's a bit like my brain actually. <laughs> Oh, you can't see me because I've only got it on the webcam. Hang on, let me turn that one, and I can show you what I'm going to sort of recreate. I did ask in the um, community thing <laughs> um, the other day, so um, let me show you. I am going to try and paint this, so um, recreate that. Um, I've got a better one on my Instagram, so you can go. You can go and see if you want to like copy it but if you do copy it please say <laughs> that you've copied it thank you <laughs> that's all I ask right so let's go back to my desk right. <laughs> I'm not a murderer <laughs> like, hi Kim <laughs> Did I say hi, Kim? Yeah, I said hello to you already. It's just like, I forget who's here. Right, okay, so white flowers, you don't paint with white. Um, I'm just gonna put this up in here because you can't really see it, can you? So that's what I'm going to try and tackle this morning. I find my brush, I know it's got pink in it. Look, I've even got clean water this morning. Amazing balls, look. There. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let me do. I've got this brush, which is a Zen Art Number no. Eight Face Squirrel, and it's covered in pink paint because I was painting pink, so my water's going to be pink now. And I've got a block of watercolour, it means it's stuck all around the sides, so it keeps it nice and flat. Hi, Margaret. <laughs> Morning. Right, I am I am organised this morning, you know what? Jesus. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna paint some nice anemones. Now to do this, I'm gonna um, it's weird using these colours actually because I haven't got my mix of um greys and they're all spanky new <laughs> and I haven't got like my normal like if I was mixing a grey to paint white flowers, I'd use like a bit of this and some gunk, gunky, multi, mitzy colour that's all in here. That That's why I don't wash my palette because um, I use the neutrals that are in here, especially for white flowers. So we're going to have to make a neutral. So these are really bright colours. So if you're going to be painting and using one of these, I'd start off just by getting a... Um, one of the blues, like this is quite bright blue. And then we just want to make it a little bit purple, a bit purple blear. <laughs> it is not the wrong channel, you tuned into the right place. <laughs> and then I'm just going to knock it back with a little bit of red to make it sort of a purpley colour. Um, a warm, a warm shadows, we don't want cold shadows. So I'm going to start off with this, like, if you can see, it's a really light pale, pale colour. And I'm going to, like, suggest where the white flowers are. You can draw out if you want to begin with. And it's good to draw out, if you're going to draw out, use a colour that is, um, I like to use, you can hear me going through my pencils now, <laughs> a neutral colour. A neutrally colour and I'm using water soluble pencils and then the lines disappear as you go. Oh no Kim, no no heating, that's not good. So I'm going to be using, I'll just show you if you're going to like, let me, I really just draw the really rough, uh, not rough outline, really faint outline if you're going to, to draw a draw because I don't like seeing um, what do you call it? lines. <laughs> so that is as faint as I really probably can't even see it. What's wrong with my thesaurus? 
Do I need a Theosaurus? I don't think so. I'll have my own words. <laughs> and I have words you don't know. But you can tell Frankish is, um, I'll call you Frankish, <laughs> is listening because he's actually a, on track to what I'm talking about. <laughs> for a purple I think my own vocabulary is very good says the person who didn't know what inner funk meant <laughs> so when I'm painting white flowers I do start off with a really light and I start getting a bit darker so I'm going to paint and then there's like a bud up here I'm, I'm sort of roughly copying what I've painted before and then it's always good to have a bit of tissue I've run out of um, kitchen rolls so um, toilet rolls good but kitchen rolls even better and then if you think you've overdone it you can come in and blot it out but if you add a dark background to white flowers whatever colour you've put on here the, the greys that you've put on there will make the flower look white and your brain thinks it's white <laughs> <laughs> you call me a cow. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> I have a thing, I know words and I can say words and I do use them in the right context, but I have trouble remembering them sometimes. And I also have trouble spelling them so I can I'm all right talking them when I have the confidence to do so sometimes I have no confidence to talk as you probably tell <laughs> and uh, I don't talk but if I had to write them down I, it's really hard it's a bit dyslexic so this petal here is like under the other ones I'm doing it really dark So I'm just roughly getting where these um, anemones are. I mean, I'm looking at my old painting that I did. The, the painting that I'm copying is really old actually. It's like from, it's like from 12 years ago. That's when I started my YouTube channel. Back in 2008. Seven, seven, 2006, seven, eight, around that time. And if you look, go back and look at the really old videos I've got, they are, <laughs> they are old. <laughs> now I'm just using the black that's in here, but I think it's more of a brownie black. So I might mix a bit of, yeah, it's not the brownie, I'm sure there was a black. So I'm going to mix a bit of, go make it black, a bit of purple to it and stuff. It's good not to use black black. Black black. <laughs> if you don't know. I'm just gonna put the centres in so we know what we're doing. And I I quite like the way it, it's like where it's not wet, it's blurring out. I'm just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> uh, Margie. Yeah, we haven't come on here for food session. I'm painting. <laughs> and I'm just gonna sort of let this dry. I'm just gonna blot out a little bit yeah, where the colours flooded the whole leaf. I'm going, this might sound a bit weird, <coughs> to get a pink pencil and a bit of um, sandpaper and just sand a little bit of pink. So I like pink. <laughs> There's a pink thing happening at the moment. I never used to like pink, now I've got pink hair and I'm, I'm just going to suggest drag the paint out and suggest some of the um, petals and things. When I'm doing these lives, I don't paint as loosely as I normally would. It's weird. It's like it's unconscious. <laughs> Conscious of what I'm sort of doing. So. The, the um, watercolour when you sand it, 
will only stick where the paint's wet so don't don't be afraid to um, get it all over the page and, and then just blow it and then it would disappear all right that's my sort of flower composition <coughs> there is another one but I'm not going to put it in because this is a different painting <laughs> now I'm going to do some some green 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 now these greens are really weird in this color <laughs> this, uh, you've got a really like chalky opaque green and then you've got some really garishy greens now if you've got garish greens they've got lots of greens in here if you've got garish greens it's always good to mix them with red and it will knock them back and give it give it a more neutral green and i'm also using some of the purpley blue that's in my palette i hope you can see that's why I like all the colours mixing together because it sort of like gives you really nice neutrals and colours you can use. And I'm going to paint some foulage. I don't know if you either like these greens. <laughs> it's weird. Weird palette. Let's like stick a bit more. Yeah. I want a dark green that gives a nice dark neutral green and this needs a um, stem and it's got little frilly anemones I'm painting anemones here by the way <laughs> so um, you can see the stem stemage <laughs> is that a word <laughs> The, the, the ones I'm copying, they I did them in a vase, but I'm not going to do these in a vase. I'm just going to do these like as in free nature. Stick a bit of yellow in with this. A bit yellowier. So I'll put a few more stems in. Do a stem coming out now always good to have a few stems we don't know where they're going <laughs> bye Stephen <laughs> Frankish <laughs> I told him off for not listening the other day so he's made an effort so I knew I knew he wasn't I knew he wasn't listening <laughs> Do it. I don't know if it's, let me just turn this really bright light out. See if you can like see a bit better. I know sometimes it's better with the light on, it's better with the light off. So you tell me, is it better with the light on or better with the light off? I think I might put it back on. I know you get sort of glare with that really bright light. But it's really dark out, it's raining. So if you like it with the light. The light um, off tell me <laughs> right so that is the <clears throat> um basic sort of thing now i'm going to come in and start adding some darks and add some details and then i might add a dark background as well it's better off okay i will turn it off um, my studio lights are quite bright but i know I know that it's, um, I, you get shadows now, I've turned the light off on oh, my eyes, I need to adjust, they're really bright. <laughs> I'm just going to add some details to the centres of these. Now it's gone like a really warm glow. <laughs> right. Now I've sort of explained the colours. I hope that sort of makes it a bit clearer. And I'm going to just zoom in a little bit. I hope this works. Ooh, not that much. <laughs> Scoot that over a bit so you can see me working the details. <clears throat> a little bit more. So it's weird to zoom in on this camera. I haven't got like a manual control. I have to do it um, with my computer, which is weird. Anyway, please don't crash. 
If I suddenly disappear, it's my computer crashing. <laughs> oh, well, that hasn't changed anything, so I'll just keep it like that. <coughs> anyway, so I'm just adding some... Now, I've got a... Um, what's going to use a black pencil? A black or a really dark coloured watercolour pencil just to do the centres of the flowers. Let me sharpen this one. This is a Faber Castle polychromo. I've lost my fancy pencil sharpener that I bought the other day. <coughs> I'll put the light on again at the end, just just in case. <laughs> now I'm just gonna um, gnu gnu gnu. I need to stop saying that. <laughs> I am going to just paint the um, paint, draw in the stamens. Now you don't have to draw in every stamen and every part of the flower the thing because that's that's just a bit much. You can use a, I like also using a um, one of these, what, what are they called? These um, <laughs> jelly pens, je jelly roll pen, whatever, fine liner. This is a uni ball pen. You can use that, it's fine. And I'm dragging the paint as well that's wet with the pencil. It seems to work better with this at the minute. I wanted a water soluble one so I could. You know how. How. Um, God, I've lost the word now. <laughs> how you get like the pollen falling off it. And I just like to sort of create that. It only sticks where the paper is damp, so it's not going to be like crazy, crazy looking too badly. So I'm just going to suggest a few on this one. Um, don't make every flower the same intensity of detail because um, you need something for your eye to focus on. always helps and if, if everything is really detailed um, your eye gets a bit confused and it you won't focus on bits it's nice to have something that you focus on and go oh yeah that's and your brain goes yes it's a flower because it doesn't have to be exact like photocopy because your brain fills in a lot of the information and once it's worked out a flower then it starts your eyes start being drawn around the painting looking. It's really, it looks really washed out. I don't know why. Let me put the light back on. <laughs> it's not that washed out. There we go. Bright lights. It's a bit better. I don't know. I can't tell. Maybe it's just the way. Where it is. I'm going to put some really dark background in this and then I might come back in and add some darker shadows because um, once you put a darker background in it's going to um, adjust the tones of the painting. Oh thank you Margaret, I'm glad you're learning lots of tips. I'm just going to dry these because, no I won't actually because I do like it when it um, like splodges into the background. Now to start painting a background, some people do the background first and then paint the flowers, but I always do it around the other way. I'm going to wet the paper where I want the colour to go. And this leaf here is a bit wet, but I don't mind that it's gonna go splodgy, like run into it. And you have to work quite quickly. Normally I would have um, mixed up the colour of the background, but I haven't yet. So I'm just gonna do this little section first. And I'm going to try and find a really nice dark inky blue to go over this. That's like a bright blue. I'm going to stick some of what I think is the black. I want it to be a nice like inky blue colour. I think that's mixed it up. Okay, that's nice. That's really dark. And I'm remember watercolour dries lighter. <laughs> and I'm just going to um, drop it in and let it do its thing. Now remember, if your painting's dry, 
it's only going to go where the paper's wet where you've wetted the paper so don't be afraid of it going into the flower it'll only go into what you've painted if it's still wet because water colour follows water water if that makes sense yes it does make sense I'm just added a bit of the blue blue up here Rinsing my brush and then I'm going to um, paint around the, the petals of these, this one. And drop in the dark colour. see that flower a bit better now let me just move it here and hopefully this will start coming to life a bit let me turn the light off again because I know it's got it's like glaring I want the glare no you've still got the glare even when I've turned the light off it must be my studio lights which I can't do anything about it's really dark this morning and rainy and miserable <laughs> right on the one I'm, I did before I had sort of it was more greeny around here but I'm not going to do it green I am going to do that think of a colour to do I'm going to stick a little bit of salt up here just just because I can and a very tiny bit uh, thank you Margaret let me just tick this so you can see that it's not got the shadow on it I if I move over it might miss the shadow a bit <laughs> And I thought I'd do, what colour should I do at the bottom? <laughs> I wanted to do like a yellowy colour. Or I might do the colour that the, um, I've got greens in the other bit. Or should I carry on with it? Let's just do a lighter blue. Let's use this really nice, it's got this one paint colour, it's got this really nice um, pale blue. It might, might offset it quite nicely. So I don't really want a definite line now because I was going to make it look like there was a definite line but I'm not I'm just going to start dropping in some of this I might put a bit dark around this one I'm going to add some more petals in in a wet and wet on wet style here just add a bit more movement to it where the page is wet don't be afraid to come in with like a, a green and suggest more petals that are all smooshing smooshy smooshy it's <laughs> my word today <laughs> oh yeah I can't wait for spring Jake <laughs> nice and so th this would give it like a softer look to the petals for the for the uh, leaves and like make them look like they're in the background I'm just adding a few more as I've decided because I was copying the um yeah the composition I did before exactly but now I'm like no I'm gonna change it <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work but never mind 
don't mind. I'll just do it lighter down here. See if that makes helps. I don't know. I can add darker bits in some areas. Let's go up there. Sorry if I'm sniffing. I'm a bit runny nose again. I think it's because it's cold. <laughs> Got a cold nose. There, now I'm going to add some more shadows because I've decided that um, that's not, um, they're not dark enough. So I'm going to use the bluey background, but I'm going to water it down and add some of the purple just to like muddy it up a little bit, like a muddy grey. And I'm going to add some darker shadowy bits. Don't be afraid to paint over what you've got. Remember, once it's dry, you can layer watercolour. And they shouldn't smudge in too much to each other. Let's get a bit of purple. I want purple. <laughs> There's another petal here and I just wanted to outline it. So I've just done that outline and then I've wetted my brush and um, blotted it on the tissue. I haven't put it in my mouth today. <laughs> And then I'm just going to soften the edge like that. And um, so I've got one hard edge and one softer edge. And it should like suggest there's a, a petal there. Like the shadow. So it comes around here as well. I'll do the same there. Has that worked? Yes. I have to keep looking at it in the um, picture. It's very um, washed out on the thing. But on the, um, let me hold it up a bit. You can see it's not, not the colours are much brighter, <laughs> and it will photograph better. So I'm going to do the same down here. Make this shadow darker. It's got lost. This flower. I don't know what's happening there. It's under that one. So you can start sorting your shadows out. <laughs> I've lost, lost the petals on that one. Oh well, I'm sure it will sort of come to life a bit. And this one up here needs more shadow now. Just to define the petals that are there. I think I just need to paint the background in here because um, that's why I've lost the shape of the petals. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I licked my brush just then. <laughs> there. <laughs> I hope I hope that's helped you understand painting. Um, I'm just I'm gonna me I'm messing about now. <laughs> Under. <pe> <laughs> understand painting white flowers in a uh, in watercolour it, it's quite it's easier in a acrylic or a paint paints because you can just use white paint for this you don't and I might add a little detail to the middle of here with the Posca pen sometimes I like to add little dots around it just sort of brings it to life and don't be afraid to mix in other mediums with your watercolour even though it's not good to use white paint because it tends to you tends to lose the um, translucency of a painting let me just hold it up a bit so you can see is that better the middle you can see the salt working out there I think I need to come in and work on the um, the leaves a bit they need some dark, darker green. Let's just mix up a bit. See, I was going to leave you then, but I thought, no, I've got to do this. <laughs> a nice muddy green would look nice. Yeah, that's a bit crazy. That's okay. It's not too bad. I'm just adding in some darker greens here and there. Ooh. Where? Touches. And up here. 
and enemies have like lacy leaves they're like very frongy <laughs> it's frongy I guess frongy is the right word or frongs they have frongs and I just want to add a little bit of shadow around this bit because it lost the shadow there so oh thank you whoever's co-feed me I'm not sure if the link's under the video actually thank you thank you very much thank you Margie <laughs> right. so that's it I finished I finished that it was quite quick and I hope it gave you lots of tips to um, paint white flowers go and have a go these aren't brilliant but um, it showed you the basics for doing it I mean I need to work on these a little bit more <laughs> but uh, that would do I'll, I'll take a picture because the um, camera is not picking up the um, contrast as well I think I need to um, adjust my camera settings for my bright light that I have so it's not um, so the contrast is a bit better anyway thank you very much really much <laughs> thank you very much for joining me I will go back to me just me oh no this one hello <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. God, this, this light's really bright. Anyway, okay, maybe it doesn't wash the colours out. I don't know if you can see. No, it still doesn't work properly. <laughs> it's great to see you, Margaret. Anyway, thank you everyone for joining me, and I will see you. There'll be a video up this evening of a watercolour painting. I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't decided. I was going to be really organised and schedule them, but I haven't because I'm not organised like that. And um, I will see you with my vlog on Sunday, and I'll be back painting Mitzi Monday. So see you, see you soon. Bye.